Happy Saturday, my friends. 75 hard, day 41, living the dream. It's a beautiful day here in Phoenix, like low 70s on the temperature. Sun is shining. It's a beautiful day. It's uh, about 11.45. We've just been chilling, relaxing, stretching. Ate some oats for breakfast a little while ago. Now we're going to head out to the canal and get a few miles in. And get this day rolling. Love you guys. Hope you're up and after it. Let's take care of business. What is going on, guys? It's about 5.30 p.m. I've had just a nice, chill day, just relaxing with the fam, working on some content. You know the business. I decided I kind of wanted to do something a little bit different today. Um, as the channel grows, I just really want to make sure that I'm providing value to my audience and everyone that sees these videos and just kind of give back to the community that's given so much to me. Um, I feel like I've learned so much about myself and about life uh, through running. So that's what I want to do is try and provide the most value to you guys. So I thought I would just kind of like start picking some different topics and stuff to talk about in in the videos, not necessarily every day, but maybe just a couple times per week or maybe once a week. I don't know. I haven't really decided on the format yet, but um, today I wanted to talk about strength training and running. Um, I know for a long time I went without strength training, even though I came from a strength training background and so, you know, you might think as a newer runner, all you have to do is run uh, to get better at running. And that can be true um, on all levels. Even some elite runners don't do strength training, but strength training can be great for injury prevention and just for your overall fitness and condition. And there's a lot of science showing that resistance training is great when you're getting older. Um, so just little things to think about, but today I wanted to talk about a couple of my favorite exercises, particularly for running. So first thing we're going to talk about today is squats. Squats are going to build overall leg strength, but particularly in your quads, hamstrings, and glutes. Squats are a must for runners because they strengthen all of the muscles that help you push off of the ground, which will result in a more efficient stride. 
and runner's economy is everything to a runner. Second exercise I wanna talk about today is lunges. Lunges improve single leg strength, which is perfect because it mimics the act of running, which you're on one single leg at a time. Lunges not only build strength, but they improve your stability and balance as well, which is key for running, especially for us trail runners who are running on uneven surfaces all of the time. Exercise number three I wanna talk about is planks. A strong core helps you maintain a good, tall posture while you're running, especially on those long runs, and it also will improve your lower back strength and help keep your back from uh, tightening up on you on those long runs as well. Exercise number four, Russian twists. You can do these weighted or not weighted. You can build up to weight however you like. But doing a nice rotational exercise like that is perfect for mimicking your swinging of your arms and your torso rotating while you're running. And building that up will also help with your balance and stability when you're swinging your arms while you're running fast. Exercise number five, glute bridges. Engaging your glutes is so important for a proper running stride and also for injury prevention. Weak glutes are a common cause of running injuries, including IT band and knee pain. Glute bridges will help ensure that your glutes are doing their job properly. Last exercise I want to talk about today is calf raises, specifically a seated calf raise. The seated calf raise really targets your soleus muscle, which is the lower muscle on your calf. And that is important for running because when you're pushing off the ground, all of that is impact is going into your soleus muscle. So the more you can build up strength and endurance in your soleus muscle, the better you will run, the longer you will run, the faster you will run. So take care of those muscles. Strength training is important for runners. Again, you can get away without it, and it may not be the best use of your time, but if you have extra time and you're looking for ways to add on to your tool set, especially with us aging runners, I know I'm 35, so focusing on these little things is super important for longevity and maintaining a healthy body. So yeah, that's basically all I wanted to cover today. Just a little bit of strength training. I hope you guys liked it. Let me know some of your favorite exercises down in the comments. And um, yeah, onward and upwards, you know. It's been a great day. About to start editing the video for the night. And um, just chilling with my boys. Ashton's bartending an event this evening. So it's just us hanging here. It's going to be a good one. Hope you guys have a great night. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for Sunday Fun Day.